You know one of the things I really hate about this game? There's no save feature, so if you decide that you're done with your recording session and you want to quit the game, you have to c go and play the game all over again up until the point that you were at in order to continue. That's exactly what just happened to me, and I don't want it to happen again, so my options are to not turn the PlayStation off, to c complete the game all on one sitting, at least the novice version of the game, or to just keep on playing through the game over and over and over again anytime I want to record. But surprisingly, it wasn't all that bad to play through it again, I just, pretty much just because I like the game. But anyways, this is Argon Matrix. And welcome you to episode 3 of Gubble. I almost hit the legend of Gubble again, damn. And in the last episode, uh, what did I just do? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go to this Zimbot this time, the third Zimbot of Farzical, which I left you cliffhanging on, and it looks like this has a zoomed out perspective. There are actually quite a few of these in the game that we- this looks the first of the zoomed out kind. It can even get more zoomed out than this, believe it or not. And that at that point it gets just kinda hard to see what you're doing actually. Yeah, so basically this level isn't too bad. There's some weird enemy bat things over there. And whenever you're at the end of one of these paths over here, if you stay here there too long, then the robots will start firing missiles at you. So don't stay there too long. Yeah, and that's basically how you do this level. It's not too hard. But yeah, it seriously pisses me off, because like, even in my run through where I got to World 3, I haven't found anywhere to save yet, so either you can't save until after World 3 at some point, or you just can't save at all. Oh, I missed that one up there, are you kidding me? What? What? I was floating. Dude, I was floating, I was totally hovering, but whatever. Alright, so no bonuses, boo me, whatever. And that will clear the way to the rest of the, well, to some of the others in bots, anyways. A farcical. Anyways, let's go over here, grab a star trophy, and looks like we have... Oh, we can go grab that star trophy, too. Look at that. That's awesome. 10,000 points for the win. It's over 9,000 points. I don't want to make that joke. I don't want to start doing that now. Anyways, the next Zimbot. Uh, ooh, we're going to be interested just to yet another new concept in this one. But first, I'm just going to remove all the screws that I can right now. Not too bad, there's this a weird blue toy robot thing there. But now, since we can't really access any other screws except that one up in the corner there, we have to take this thing, this sledgehammer I guess, and you have to pound against these granite blocks here in order to be able to get through. So it's an interesting concept, it's one of the more awesome tools in the game. Because you don't actually use it to remove the screws or anything like that, you actually use it to remove obstacles. That might be the only one in the game, but I haven't played through the entire game, so I wouldn't be able to tell you that. Oh god. I didn't think there was a path there that he could access me to. But I was wrong! I was- Damn it! Stop taking hits, dude. You're gonna need all the life you can get in later stages. Oh god. Alright, come on. Go back up here. We'll follow this back guy around. Hopefully he won't catch up to us, even though he's going pretty fast. Oh my god. And go down this way. Hover. Oh my god, no. Don't leave the screwdriver behind. Never leave a man behind. Come on, we're just... Whoa. I accidentally almost hit the reset button on my PlayStation. That would have been bad. That would have been very, very bad. Come on. Oh my god, I almost got hit there. And then I left the screwdriver behind again. Okay, whatever. We are done there. Uh, oh no, I, actually, I almost accidentally hit the open button, never mind, so it would have opened the PlayStation, not reset it. That would have been even worse, though, probably. Anyways, next one. These levels are starting to get a little bit more complex now. Like, look at this. This this one looks pretty big, doesn't it? Yeah, so as you can see, it's starting to ramp up, even just now in the third video. Oh, and there is another concept that we're introduced into this one. We're just getting things left and right here, aren't we? New things. New and extraordinary things now in Gubble. For limited time only. Except not because you can play the game as many times as you like. Dude, get the screw. There you go. Alright, so let's just Oh god. I thought oh I thought that thing was gonna Yeah, sometimes these enemies, like, they can f either follow you or they have a set path. 
I I much prefer it when they have rather prefer it when they have a set path because that makes it easier to avoid them, obviously. And it looks like all the enemies on this one do have a set path. Well, looks like that's it for the screws there. So let's go grab the hammer. Ta! Hammer time! Grab the hammer. Yeah, I'm thermal. Or whatever he said. Oh god. So there's this weird little sign thing here. If you can grab it, freezes time for the enemies pretty much. But only for a limited time, so yeah. Oh god, they came back. They come back to life. No, run away. Man, that, look at that gear go. He's got that guy. Think, that thing's going crazy. It's going like uber fast. Mom, we are almost done here. By the way, you guys, um, the 50 subscriber special is coming up pretty soon. Um, it's gonna take a while though, cause I have all the videos made and stuff. I just have to, like, whatever you call that, render them. I don't think it's called rendering, but I'm gonna render them in HD, and that takes a lot longer than making a normal video with normal quality. So, uh, expect that in a day or two or something, cause it's coming at you in three parts. So that'll be awesome. Anyways, I I hate this level right now. I can tell you that right now. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go straight all over past this entire level. Just surpass it all the way, trust me. Now look at this. There's landmines everywhere. Freaking maggots blocking the way. And this weird colander. Colander? No, it's not a colander. It's a column of death. But we've got a bonus in bot back here. So that's nice. Oh my god, I'm surrounded by hammers. Help me! They're gonna nail me down. Me! Cheeseburger! And, oh, I hate these ones where the freaking tools move. That's just annoying. Because you never know which way they're gonna turn. It's, it's completely unpredictable. But I'm doing pretty good so far, I'd say. Stack! Nice! Look at how fast I'm going. I'm like Sonic, the fastest thing alive. Why am I saying so many catchphrases in this video? Like seriously. I don't know if I'm the only one noticing that, but whatever. Speed sign, yay. It's always helpful. Oh man, I didn't even realize time was running out there. Kinda of took me by surprise that one time. That time? That time? Anyways, oh look at that. I have they have life there. Might as well pick that up. Nice. No, don't go there, you stoop. So now we're going to work our way all the way back to the beginning of the level. Do, 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 I'm going now. Oh, dude, dude, don't stop turning into those freaking little alcoves, whatever you want. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this level, it's not really hard. It's just time-consuming, annoying, tedious, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, we'll just wait for that guy to pass, and yeah, see what I mean? Well, at least we're done with all the bolts now. Pass the landmine there, and start drilling these things out. No one answered me to what this thing was. I think someone said that looked, that this tool looked like a gun, but they couldn't explain what it was removing. And I don't think it's a gun. Just call me crazy, I don't think it... Oh, damn it. You're going too slow, you stupid maggot. Oh, God. Oh, no, he's like trapped there now. Gotta get my tool back. Oh god. Now I have to wait for his slow ass to pass. And I seriously did not mean for that to rhyme. But we're done there. Anyways. Ooh, we're encroaching upon nine minutes here. Looks like we're going to have to cut off pretty soon. Who knows, maybe we'll get this last Zimbot in here. Ooh. I know we're going to be introduced to a new concept in this just by looking at it. So you know what? I'm going to call I'm gonna cut this episode a little bit short here. And I'm going to thank you all for watching. This has been Argon Matrix playing Gubble! Yes! And come back for more next time. And don't worry, Ocarina of Time is going to come back in due time. Once I get my wink wink nudge nudge. Which I'm sure plenty of you know what that is by now. Well maybe not, I don't know. But anyways, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you. Good night.